I have been carefully tracking recent earthquakes like the one in Haiti. Color 8's Kyle Madura shows us how they're tracking them. This is the movement of the ground in Billings during the Haiti earthquakes. This one right here is us. Earthquakes have an international impact, and for ninth graders in Mr. Beals' Earth Science class, that's readily apparent. It may not look like much, but their seismograph is nearly as accurate as those used by the U.S. Geological Survey. We get just about anything that's a 6.0 or greater anywhere in the world, but we get most everything from just Yellowstone that's a 2.0 or greater. Well, I've always been kind of interested in Yellowstone, and then when the earthquake stuff came about in class, I was pretty excited about it because I've always wanted to see a seismograph. In the age of now, Beal says school needs to move at the pace of Facebook, Twitter, and texting. A spike in web hits follows a spike in quakes. I check it whenever I can get a hold of the computer. It gives them an opportunity to experience science instead of just reading it out of a textbook. Mr. Beal says class can be interrupted by quakes on the other side of the world. Instantly, the students want to know, you know, what, what, what's shaking right now? Where is this coming from? For that, they turn to the National Science Foundation, and students share their findings in a sort of reverse show and tell. I think at first, my dad was kind of like, well, why is she interested in school all of a sudden? I've had a few emails from parents and from other people asking, you know, did you pick up the earthquake in California? Did, uh, have you got any of those swarms? Then, once he noticed that I was actually really into it, he thought it was pretty neat that I was taking a huge interest in something that was going on in class. And she says nothing can shake her from her newfound interest. Kyle Madura, Color 8 News. To learn more about the program, you can visit our website at color8.com and click on Connections.